This isn't actually part of my WordPress site. It's just an app that I've made with AI in only a few hours. You can put in your body weight and then your target weight and it shows how long it's gonna take to reach your goal. For me, it'll take about 4 months to lose 20 pounds. This graph shows my progress over time with milestones to help keep me on track. And down here I have this option to book a personal trainer by clicking this button. And here's another example. I've made this protein calculator. It tells you if any food like a protein bar is truly high protein or if it's just marketing. Studies show that interactive content like this can have a huge impact on sales. Problem is that in the past, only big companies could afford custom tools like this. But now you can make them yourself with AI. I'm Andre and I'm gonna show you how to make an app like this for any industry, not just personal trainers. All it takes is just three easy steps. The first step is actually making your app. There are a bunch of AI tools that you could use for this, but by far the best and most popular one right now is a tool called Lovable. So just go to wpmkr.com lovable and you'll get some free credits to try it out. It will be enough to build your first app for free. Then go to get started and you can sign up in one click by using your Google account. Then once you're logged in, you can start typing in your app idea. I'm just gonna say what I want. A weight loss app that has two input fields for your current weight and your target weight and it generates a graph. Hit enter and let's see what it comes up with. Then just give it some time to start building. And after this I'm gonna show you a much better way to write your first prompt. So about a minute later, this is the result. On the right side you can preview your app and on the left side you have the chat where you can ask the AI to make changes. And as you can see the app works, but I think it's pretty ugly. It's far from what I had in mind and the colors are all over the place. So let me show you a much better approach. It's much better to go to ChatGPT first. And to start, maybe you don't even have an app idea yet. So I told it that I am a personal trainer, but you can replace this with your own niche. I said that I want a simple app for my front page and I asked it for its top 5 ideas. And that's how I came up with the ideas for my apps. And by the way, I leave this prompt and all of the others that I use in the description of this video. Next, once you have your idea, open a new chat and use a prompt like this. ChatGPT will help you to write an amazing prompt for Lovable. Tell it that you're using Lovable and then tell it your app idea. Then, what's next is super important. Ask it to ask you back questions about blind spots or details that you might have missed. This is a great hack because then it's gonna start asking you super relevant questions about your project. Things like should we use kilograms or pounds? And things about your buttons and user experience. It will even ask you questions about technical things. And you don't need to know the answer to all of these questions. For example, in the technical questions, when you reply you can just say that you're not sure or ask it whatever it thinks is best. As you can see, it already knows that Lovable uses React. It kind of answered its own question right here. Alright cool, so once you answer all of its questions, it's gonna build an amazing prompt for you. And this is super detailed. As you can see, it has chart requirements, user experience behavior, and even quick test cases at the end. All of this is gonna help Lovable make a much better app for you. So you can just select all of this and you can copy and paste it inside Lovable. This is exactly the prompt that I used to start building my app. And this was the first result. And maybe it doesn't yet look as good as this one, but it works much better. And that's because of the better prompt that we generated with ChatGPT. Cool, so now we have a working app and it only took a few minutes to make. But I don't like how this line is straight. It doesn't work like that in real life. You're not gonna lose 100 grams of weight each day every day. Some days you'll gain 50 grams, other days you'll lose 200 grams. So I said that the graph shouldn't be linear because that's not realistic. Then it thought for a while and finally it came up with this, which I think is much better. So you can keep prompting the AI and keep refining your app until you get exactly what you want. For me, after just two AI messages, I got this, which I think is more than good enough to use on my site. Maybe I just change the colors to make them darker and then it's done. But let me set your expectations straight. If you're a perfectionist like me, you might spend a lot of time from this point on trying to perfect your app. Just check out how long this chat is. It took me about 20 minutes to make this preview version, but it took me another 6 hours or so to actually get to my final result. Because once you have your first version of your app, it's a much more involved process to get every detail right. I'll give you more useful tips about how to do this at the end of the video. But just be patient, talk to the AI and figure out problems, and you will get better and better.
You're also gonna learn so much by doing. I really think this is the best way to learn. You'll build up your AI and programming skills, which is amazing to have in 2025. So finally, this was my final version after about 6 hours of work. And finally, since we have our finished app, let's publish it so that we can insert it into WordPress. Once published, you can click this link and you can access your app on the web. We can use it right here and it works great. You don't need to host this app yourself because Lovable will host it for free. And their hosting is super good and super fast. And by the way, if you need fast hosting for your WordPress site, I've tested many and I highly recommend ChemiCloud. You can use code MAKER at checkout to get the biggest discount. Check out the link in the video's description. Perfect, so now we have our app and it's time to insert it into our site. There are a bunch of ways to do this, but the simplest way is to use something called an iframe. And I like to use WordPress and Elementor, but by using this method you can actually insert it into any website. It doesn't matter if you use something else. So for me, in Elementor I'll just drag in a new container and I'm just gonna give it some height. Then inside it I want to add an HTML code, just like this. Next, open the Google Doc that you can find in the video description. You'll find this code at the bottom and you just want to select it and copy it. Then over in Elementor you can paste it inside your widget. Then go to your lovable app and copy the link. I'm gonna go back to Elementor and I want to paste my link inside this SRC field. So inside here I'm gonna paste the link of my app. Just like this. So now we have our app inside our site. Now I can select this container and you can style it. I'm gonna set the width to pixels and then set it to 860. And for the height I'm gonna make it 400. I also want to go to advanced and make sure that the margin and padding are both zero. What's cool is that you can also make it responsive. So I'm gonna go to tablet and I'm gonna do 650 for width and 470 for height. Then go to mobile and for this one I want to make the height just 420. And now it looks good on all devices. Another thing you could do is you could give your app a border. So I'm gonna make it a solid border, 5 pixels. And let's make it red, just so that we can see it easily. For the border radius, let's say we want 80. But you're gonna see that we have a problem. This looks weird. To fix this, select the column, then go to layout. Down here go to additional options. And then for overflow, we want to make it hidden. And now it's fixed. Nice. I'm not gonna use a border for my app, but if you want to have one, this is how you could do it for yours. I'm just gonna make the radius 30, and then I can publish the page. What's amazing now is that we have the best of both worlds. You keep full control over your site's design in Elementor. And you don't have to rely on any AI to make random changes to your site. But you also have your modern React app coded by the AI and kept separate from everything else. You can even use your app right here inside the editor. Also, I think this app looks insane. Just look at it. It's super modern and it generates results instantly. It looks and feels more professional than most WordPress plugins ever did. And you built it yourself, fully custom for your own site or for your client's site. Cool, so now let's see how you can make edits to your app and then update it on your site. I'm also gonna show you some super important tips and tricks for working in Lovable. So first things first, when you have a working version of your app that you're happy with, I recommend that you stop changing it over here directly. Instead, click over here for the project settings. Then scroll down and you can click this Remix button. Leave this unchecked and then click Remix again. This will duplicate your app and it will allow you to make changes without affecting your live app that is on your site. So now you have this app that stays saved over here and this is the live version on your site. So in this new project we can now make changes or add new features. So I'm gonna tell it to add a toggle to my app that allows switching between kilograms and pounds. Make sure to update all of the code to work with this new feature that we are adding. As you can see, I didn't give it much detail. Normally, I would write a much more detailed prompt. But let's see what it does. So it took about 2 minutes and now there's a toggle here to switch between pounds and kilograms. But I actually had another version of my project where it did a much better job in my opinion. As you can see, the AI does it slightly different each time. In these two projects, I have the exact same prompt, but as you can see, the result is different. I don't like this one as much, but I think this one is much better. And this is one of the reasons why remixing projects is really useful. You can try different things until you get something that you really like. So let me go up here and let's preview the app. And I'm gonna try pounds, 200 to 180, and let's see it. And it looks amazing. The vertical scale shows pounds over here instead of kilograms. And the milestones and everything else is updated to use pounds. 
Perfect, so now let's say that we want this new version of the app on our site. First we publish it, then all you need to do is visit the new link and copy it. And over on your site, just go to your widget and replace the old link with the new one. Publish the page and that's it. My app is updated with the new feature that we've just added. And it's crazy how easy this was. But if you've ever used AI before, you'll know that it's not always this easy. Sometimes it just messes things up. So let me show you three tips that are gonna help a lot when working with Lovable. Tip number one. In Lovable, you have these buttons up here. You can use this one to see a full history of your changes. And you can go back in time and easily revert to a working version of your app. This is super useful if the AI has broken something recently. Or you can scroll up in chat to revert back to a previous version by just clicking one of these preview cards. Then you could restore this older version or you can exit. Tip number two. Use this edit button down here. It allows you to click and select any element like this button. Then you can say something like make this button red or anything else you want. This tells the AI exactly which item you want edited because otherwise sometimes it gets confused and it might change the wrong thing. Tip number three. You have this chat feature down here. When you click the chat button, it becomes blue. So now you can ask the AI anything you want and it will not make any changes to your app. This is super useful if something in your app is broken or if you want to implement a new feature carefully. It will answer you in detail and then it will even make a plan for you. So here's an example. While I was working on the app, at some point it made the background white, even though I didn't ask for that. So I've told it about this problem and I've also told it when this most likely happened. Then I asked if it can tell what caused this bug. It went through the whole code and it gave me a detailed reply as to what was happening. And then it even came up with a plan to fix it. It gave me this button that I can click to implement its plan. You can either click this button or if you're not convinced you can write a message back to refine the plan further. And it helps a lot for the AI to make a plan for itself like this. Because by writing out the plan like this, the AI is helping itself to have more context. And it's gonna better understand what it needs to change to fix your bug or to implement your new feature. I'm gonna leave links below to both of these projects so that you can try them out if you want. You can also duplicate them easily to edit them yourself. Just click this remix button. Alright I've been Andre, please subscribe.